My next guest is back in action March 30th at UFC Fight Night. It is Lupi Godinez back here on the program. Lupi, how are you? I'm really good. How are you? I'm uh, I'm great. Uh, a little bit of a break in between fights, which is always good. Usually you're the one taking like the short notice opportunity. Uh, is it nice to have like a full camp and actually like prep for a fight and everything? Yeah, definitely. And and now with, with my new team is great because I get to um, soak more of the technique. I get to evolve more, right? More more time to train, more time to change. So yeah, I, I, I mean, I didn't mind the, um, the break, but it's not really a break because I'm always training, working, trying to right. learn things and stuff. So um, yeah, uh, all, all of this time, all I've been doing is learning more, you know, just getting better, just, you know, and, and you must be pretty excited to get this opponent. Uh, Jana Roba, obviously highly ranked, 19-3 uh, and three record. Uh, just tell me your excitement on, on getting another good opponent here. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity. You know, is um, you know she's been around for a long time. She's she's been in, in in the top for a long time too. So excited to test myself with her and um, you know to just like to show my my skills to myself. You know how much I've been improving. So. I'm excited. I think it's a really good matchup for me to, you know, to to see, to see just for myself. And yeah. then everything is is like the sherry on top, winning this fight, just getting me closer to the belt, and it's just you know great of it all. You mentioned the new team, uh, training partners, pretty much the same. Like who are you working with right now? Who's in the gym with you? Yeah, you know, it's pretty much the same. My, you know, Lobo Gym has so many, so many bodies, so many fighters. So I get to have a little bit of everything. Um, and of course, Alexa is always there and, and helping out. And, you know, Omar, which he's like the the guy that um, helped her win the belt. Of course, Colin Danes is here now. Um, Francisco Grasso, Alessandro is here, Acosta. So, it's, it's been great, great training. Yeah, and a good mix too. Um, I, I know everyone's kind of wondering, it seems like they're going to do Grasso and Shevchenko at the Sphere. I think that's what everyone's kind of anticipating. But I know there were some talks of, I think Grasso was a bit injured, or Shev, I know Shevchenko was, right? We, that was sort of the thing we knew. But um, how long have you been like actually training with her like for this camp? Because if, my understanding was she was out of the gym for a little bit. I don't, I don't know when, but I, I remember like earlier she was. Yeah, I'm not sure about fighting. I have no idea about. Oh yeah, no worries. No, I'm not trying to dig anything. That's yeah. just that. That's the rumor right now. Obviously, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, you're. Uh, that's supposed to be my job to figure out who or when they're fighting, right? So. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's back at training. You know, she's uh, slowly picking up the intensity. She's, she's doing good. She's doing good. Good. That's great. And and just like how much like being at this camp now, like you must be so comfortable. This is what. How many fights is it now that you've been uh, at Lobo Gym uh, now? It's this is your third fight, I think, or fourth fight. How, how long has? Yeah. It been? my third full training camp with them yeah and it's just like how much confidence like you're already confident i mean even before coming in the ufc like we we talked about this like there were girls who just didn't want to fight you now you're there you're fighting up the ranks and stuff but take me through sort of the confidence level just getting this sort of work with alexa and we're working you know irene aldana and there's so many other you know fighters that you get to work with like just raising your game like how does that affect you mentally just knowing like the camp could be just as hard as the fight yeah, for sure. And uh, like, honestly, the training is harder than the fight. Yeah. Oh, you know, like right now I'm like, oh my God, everything hurts, you know, but it is like the best, you know, I'm having the best of the best of the training. I, I, I can feel, I can see that I'm improving and then I, I just feel so ready. I wish I was fighting this weekend, you know, but I still have so many weeks to go and uh, well, few now, but it's still like, I don't know, like the, the work we put in is is a, a huge factor for my confidence. Like I was already confident, like you say, I have always worked really hard, but now it's just like an extra, you know? So I'm, I'm excited, really, really happy. And, and we talked about this last time too, but I know just even like the, the food you get to eat down there is so different than it is here in Canada. It's, I mean, you know, obviously like we got it pretty good here, but you know, the fact that you can go to the grocery store and get so many things that are healthy for you and it's a lot cheaper. How does that affect the cut? Cause I imagine like, it's probably a little bit easier cause you're just eating healthy 24 seven and you're not breaking the bank either. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, I, I just walk a block and then I have a corner store where I can get everything, you know, and and uh, super cheap and super like fresh stuff, you know, and, and you cannot go wrong with that. I'm eating like so much. 
uh, but like so clean at the same time. So it's great, you know, my body loves it here. How's the weather down there? Uh, here, I will tell you, because I always give you the weather report from, from back here in British Columbia. It is, um, it's like, actually, no, it snowed. I don't know if you heard it. It snowed uh, last night, and it snowed a little bit this morning. But you know the snow here in the lower mainland. Like, it'll snow, and then it'll be gone by the afternoon. Like, I bet if I go outside right now, it's probably gone. Yeah, bro. Uh, here is hot. It's not, it's not summer yet, but it's, yeah. it's hot, you know? But it's yeah. still, it's not even that hot. So it's, it's super nice, like nice day every day. Uh, by the way, I saw that video on your Instagram about uh, your sister. Obviously, she uh, did quite well uh, in the it was for wrestling, I believe. Right. Um, what, I saw that video of her at the at, you guys met at the airport or something. Take me through that. That was kind of cool. Uh, you like so, I don't know if you surprised her, but you were like there greeting her. Yeah, of course. So she um, she competed in Acapulco. OK, uh, she's going to be with me for two weeks. Oh, cool. So Or more. I don't know, but at least two weeks, and then we will see. Uh, she, you know, she's super happy when to pick her up at the airport. But you know, um, I like to to scream and be loud, and you know, I'm, I'm super proud of her. Um, yeah, she's she's happy. You know, she's enjoying her time here in Mexico. Uh, she's training a little bit here. She's of of course helping me. So um, yeah, it's it's great. I'm so happy for her. It must be nice too having a familiar face like for camp as well because I know you probably miss because your family a lot of your family's still here right so it must be nice having your sister around to kind of make things more homely right yeah for sure it's always nice to have her around she's she's my baby <laughs> there you go there you go uh, your corner I imagine it'll be the same as before uh, what what's that gonna look like uh, on March thirtieth yeah it's uh, Colin Danes Francisco Grasso and it could be Alessandro Acosta or Diego Lopez. Because uh, the, he's fighting a week or two after me. I was going to ask you about that. I, I wasn't wonder, I was wondering actually if you were going to go down for that for UFC 300. It's uh, it's close to your fight though. I think it's two weeks after, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. So I, I told him depends how he feels. Come to my fight. You know, I know he has his. Um, he got to make a job happen. But you know, Alessandro is also is also coming. So either way, will be. Colin Danes, Francisco Grasso, Alessandro Costa, or Diego Lopez, you know, okay. uh, we will, you know, we will decide. Yeah, we'll see. Um, how do you envision the fight playing out on March 30th? Obviously, Jana Robe is a tough opponent, right? Like, she's really tough to finish. Um, how, how do you sort of see the play fight playing out? Yeah, I, I do see a lot of, a lot of different, like, like standing up, some wrestling, even some jujitsu. you know, I've been putting a lot of time into that. Um, like even before I knew about this fight, you know, I'm always working on YouTube. too. And when I was in Vancouver after my last fight, after a week, I was back at the gym. I was uh, training. I was, you know, working on my YouTube too because I know um, I gotta be good everywhere, right? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I just see a lot of things happening. Standing up, wrestling, just a mix. You know, it's MMA. So. At at the uh, we were talking about Diego Lopez fighting on UFC 300. A uh, big fight on that card is in your division for the title. We've got Wei Li Zhang and Yan Shonan fighting. I was curious. I know I'm sure you're paying attention to what's happening at the top there. Um, how do you see that fight playing out? That's a huge fight in in your division. Yeah, it is. A, I I think I think uh, Wei Li is gonna stay the champ. I that's that's what I think. Uh, what do you think? Um, I think Whaley's probably going to say this champ as well, but I think that uh, Yan Shonan has made a lot of improvements. Um, we saw her finish, I think it was Jessica Andrade. Um, she's had a couple good wins recently, and I think those have really prepared her for a moment, uh, like fighting uh, you know, Whaley Zhang. And you got to remember as well, Whaley, I don't think has fought since the Lamos fight. That was a while ago. So we'll see if that layoff maybe impacts her. I don't know. We'll see. But Yan Shonan, I think, is going to make it a really exciting fight. I just wonder, like, I guess they couldn't go to China. Like, that to me is kind of the missed opportunity here. You're probably, I mean, I would imagine not anytime soon, you're probably not going to get a title fight with two Chinese women fighting each other. Like, that's got to be a huge international fight, right? Like, obviously, that's why it's probably on UFC 300 as an Xbox option, but I wonder if that was a bit missed opportunity there by the UFC uh, not going to China for that fight. Yeah, I, have, I, I don't know, but uh, I'm sure that they, they know what they're doing, right? They have oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I mean, it's the next best option, but I just think, like, that fight really should be in China. Like, I could imagine just how crazy that would be, right? So. 
Yeah. Yeah. Who knows what they're they're what they're thinking, right? <laughs> yeah. Again, we're we're looking far ahead here, but I know obviously the title is is sort of the the eye and the prize here. But how much does it help that you train with a, like a UFC champion, like Alexa? I'm sure you're seeing is getting like a lot of attention, and you know whether it's media stuff or like other opportunities. Is that something you've kind of taken note of as as you look towards potentially being a champion yourself? Oh, of course. You know, I'm always learning from her. Um, you know, she's. She, you know, she's a champ for the for a reason, and and I get to to live it, to see it, to you know, to hear, to to be around her. So, yeah, definitely, I'm learning learning a lot of stuff from her. Um, there's some rumors right now that the UFC is going to be coming back to Vancouver this year. Um, is that a card you'd like to be on, or would you rather fight on the same card as Alexa? Like, like what sort of like if you had a preference, what what would you rather have? Yeah, um, <clears throat> last time we fought together, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the, having a fight come together. is amazing, you know. So I want to go, you know, probably towards fighting with her in the same car. Uh, but also if I fight my hometown, it will be great to, you know, last time I fought there, it was uh, when I was amateur. A long right. time. It would be so nice to, to you know, to have... You know, so many familiar faces, you know, where, where I'm where I've been for the last sixteen, fifteen years. Absolutely. Loopy, thanks so much for the time. I know you got a busy schedule. I really appreciate it. If there's anyone you'd like to thank or anyone you'd like to mention before we get out of here, as always, I'll give you the last word. Well, thank you for having me and just uh, thank you to everyone that is being with me and is helping me and constantly training with me and constantly make me improve. And yeah, thanks for everyone that is following me, my career, and, and, and you know, I hope they enjoy my next fight.